Hello Cancer, what is going on? I hope you're doing very, very well. Um, my name is Diane, I'm going to be the Don't Know Me, and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And we're going to do a general reading for June, but you know, it's timeless. So whenever you happen to find this is when you were meant to see it. Um, you are very welcome here at Cancer. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate it very much. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that a lot as well. So let me just quickly shuffle these bad boys. Okay, right. What is going on for the lovely Cancer? Ooh, castle, it's time for healing, not war. Okay. Learning to weave it in the right area. So hopefully you can see that. So you're going through a period of healing at the moment. Okay. So this kind of, okay. I don't know what you're doing, but you're forgiving something. Because she's looking here at something, she's, it's just, she's like picking up ashes. So it could be that you've spent a lot of your life in survival mode or you, you might resonate with like having been through some kind of war. <clears throat> and now it's like you're kind of looking at like what was left to you, like the ashes that were left or like what was, you know, it's like, well, this is the damage that was done. And, and now you're learning to forgive. It's like you're, you're maybe having to release a lot. And I'm not saying like forgiving people so they can come back into your life. I'm, I'm talking about like forgiving situations, you know. So that could be what you're doing at the moment. So if that is what you're doing, if that's resonating, please be gentle with yourself. <laughs> okay. Because you're about to get your happily ever after. But there's some stuff that's being released before it comes in. Okay, you have Phoenix. How's that for a happily ever after? And you even have someone here dealing with ashes. So you have a, you're, you're the Phoenix that's rising from the ashes. But you're just going through a little bit of a period of forgiveness at the moment. Like forgiving situations, forgiving people, maybe even forgiving spirit a little bit. You know, because sometimes it's not clear why things have happened. And the lessons, lessons, <laughs> Sean Connery, uh, the lessons can seem very harsh. And you have bitch fire, stand up for yourself. So there's your answer. Whatever it was that you went through, cancer, it was meant to make you stand up for yourself. Assert boundaries, take up space, speak up for yourself. Is, it, is there anything else from this deck? Okay, one more. Endings are inevitable. I'm trying to figure out if the radiator was on recently so don't melt my tarot cards. <laughs> it's the last thing I need melted tarot cards all over the radiator. Um, okay. So a couple of things are happening here. You can see if I'm weaving it in the right place. She, there's a boat coming in, okay, but she's sitting at the edge of like, uh, it, you know, the edge of the pier. Um, maybe you've been, you know, maybe some things have ended for you. It could have been a relationship that ended or like a cycle in your life that's ended. Because it's almost like you're cleaning up. You're sort of tying up the loose end. You're cleaning up after things that happened. After like a lot of lessons about learning to stand up for yourself. Also, I feel like your solar plexus is balanced, balanced. so, you know, you could have gone through a lot of gaslighting or something like that, um, or a lot of people that put you down, or you just didn't ever have a lot of confidence, but it's like, at the back of something ending, there's something coming, like your ships are coming in, something or someone new is coming in for you. But something had to end, or a number of things had to end, 
so that you could have this new life that's coming in for you, Cancer. You might be feeling very angry about things that have been done to you. Um, there's a few ways to help you release anger. Working on your root chakra can help release anger. Lift, um, the liver is associated with anger. So you could listen to some liver healing frequencies on YouTube. Um, Ho'oponopono. Something I've been doing myself recently. Okay, what else for cancer? I feel like there's three to come out from this deck. Wow, look, forgiveness. You're definitely going through something here, so please be kind to yourself. See, the thing is, when you're betrayed or, you know, when people have hurt you, it all gets stuck in the heart chakra. If you want to know more about the chakras, you should check out my other channel, How to Train Your Caterpillars. Loads of stuff over there. It's all free. Um, but the, the heart chakra is like the brain. So, like, it, it all gets stuck in the heart chakra. I forgive others for their preconceptions, judgments, and behaviors, trusting we are all doing our best with our current level of awareness and patterning. I recognize my hurts and nurture my inner child with all that she, he needs. Um, I forgive myself for my imperfections. I do my best and find contentment with that. I am good enough. So you're actually going through a lot at the moment. You might have been doing some inner child healing. If not, Spirit is saying inner child healing would be good for you. Um, you know, I, uh, I'm just going to tell you here, um, there's this guy, Aaron Doughty, that has a, a, another channel, like, obviously not, like, tarot. <laughs> um, it's a bigger, it's obviously a much bigger channel. It's like a spiritual coaching channel, but he started a group recently, like a group that you can join that has lots of helpful things in it if you feel called to check it out. So I feel like you're forgiving people for a lot of things that were done to you. Possibly for some of you, your mother. Okay. So there'll be a lot of things leaving your body is the thing because like negative energy and things like that get stored in the body. You might also be forgiving someone for ending something with you. You know what you're learning as well? Um, so you have the third eye chakra here, psychic awareness. So your, um, your psychic awareness is heightening, like you're becoming more clairvoyant or your intuition is getting really stronger. I am psychic. The thing is, though, when it comes out with the solar plexus chakra, the solar plexus is all about trusting in your own intuition, like trusting in the messages that are coming through. So something else that's happening is you're getting more confident and in turn, that is making your intuition stronger. Mm -hmm. I open my third eye and allow visions of higher wisdom to be received and trusted. You're actually probably getting a lot of visions about the future at the moment. They might be coming in through your dreams is actually what they're saying. Um, but you already know why all these things had to happen but sometimes it can be very difficult to stomach, you know, especially when you see like the normies <laughs> just living their life and you're like, well, how nice for you. Um, I'm going to reshuffle this one. And one more for cancer. So just be very kind to yourself at the moment when you're going through this because you're not behind. You're doing shadow work that needs to be released so you can have this new beginning. Consciousness. Is that the right card? Yeah, there's something. Okay, look at that. So three crown chakra cards just came through. So this is like the highest chakra, the one that connects you to like the universe, your angels, you know, extraterrestrial beings, whatever you want to call them. So you're releasing um, your ego, like there's 
it's like the quite a big chunk of things that are holding you back are being released at the moment because you're you're basically ascending to the next level. Um, I am conscious, we are one, we are. So this is all about, you know, becoming like, um, become, you, we're, we're all one, but it's like releasing the, the, the resentment and the grief and the heartbreak that gets trapped in the heart chakra and moving past that so you can ascend into this like higher consciousness. And because I'm, I'm assuming it's because you have some kind of spiritual job to do on the planet, okay? So that's what's happening. Look at that. All of these cards that just came out are like psychic stuff, okay? So you're probably finding that your psychic gifts are getting better. Like, if, I don't know, if you read tarot or something, you're probably getting better at it. Um, if you're a medium, you're probably getting more messages. If you're just discovering your psychic gifts, like the high priestess. <laughs> okay, you have the nine of pentacles here. So if you're single at the moment, Cancer, it's okay. You're not going to be single for much longer is what I want to say. Because at the moment, you're just doing a little bit of healing here. That's too many. Um, what else for Cancer? Yeah. So there's some, look at that, that just came out together. The Three of Swords and the Three of Wands. Am I waving that in the right place? I hope I am. <laughs> so you are forgiving heartbreak. Now, people often just associate heartbreak with romance, but of course, that's not accurate. Everybody can break your heart. This can be to do with your family, could be to do with friends, your life not working out the way that you wanted. Maybe you feel like something happened and you've just been left with like ashes and you're like, okay, what do I do now? But you're moving on from that is the thing with the three of wands. You're moving on from all this pain and all this heartbreak, but it's like you have to feel it to heal it kind of thing. And you will get your happily ever after. That's what Spirit is promising you with this reading. What else for Cancer? The Empress. The Page of Cups. Okay, so you're very, very sweet. <laughs> I mean, look at this little guy. I don't know if you watch Supernatural, but I think he looks like Jack from Supernatural. That He's a sweetheart. Jack's such a little sweetheart. I love him. Um, you're, you're just like a little sweetheart. Your heart is very open. You know, you're very innocent. You have like very like inner child energy. You, you help bring other people together. You're just a very pure soul. You should resonate with being like the, the term earth angel and you help lift other people up. But it was also important for you to learn how to stand up for yourself because the page of cups is the type of energy that can kind of wear their heart on their sleeve a little bit and get taken advantage of by bad people. Because, <laughs> you know, normal people don't want to take advantage of that. It just attracts the wrong people. Um, and you have the empress here. So the Empress, this is you really, male or female, this is you really standing in your power. You're birthing something as well. Something's being birthed. But the Empress is all about self-love. You know, not chasing love, not, you know, if people don't want to love you, it's like, okay, well, bye. I'm not chasing you like I'm worth more than that. Um, and because of that, things are just naturally flowing to you now. You really have stepped into your power. I don't know what this is you're creating, but it's different. You're doing something different. That's why your path is harder. 
because you're creating something different. You have a very, very strong energy. And also they just drawn my attention to the yellow candle, which is the color of the solar plexus chakra. So your solar plexus is opening. So you should find yourself being, hold on, what time is it? I don't know how I waffle in these readings. Um, it's like 20 minutes passes before I know it, but you should find yourself with more, maybe not right now because you're, you're releasing a lot of stuff. Okay. But you should find yourself with more energy, more motivation, more willpower. Um, the brain fog, if you've experienced that, should go away. You may even find that skin problems start to fade or um, digestive issues kind of right themselves, like digestive stomach issues right themselves. You're not, you're not going to give so much of an ish what other people are thinking. You're just going for it. So you have the Four of Cups here and you have the star. With endings are inevitable. Something that you wished for is coming. You're going to get your wish. Like with the Five of Pentacles here, you may have felt very left out in the cold. But something that you wanted is just on the horizon. At the moment, you may be feeling like bored or fed up. Because you maybe feel like nothing is happening. But you're going through all this icky releasing stuff, which is also never fun. It was also necessary, I think you maybe got to a point where you were maybe a little jaded. Um, with like, I don't know, love or just people in general because people kept offering you cups and they were, you know, it turned out they were empty. You know, maybe you kept meeting people and you were like, oh, this person will be a great friend or like this person, this was, yeah, I can totally date this person. Like they're, they're awesome. And then they just turned out to be like empty vessels. So there's something about that being healed so you can have this new beginning and that ties in very well with the heart chakra. Like you're forgiving people. I'm actually hearing you are forgiving people for like not being who you thought they were. Because I feel like a lot of people in the past just didn't measure up to who you thought they were. So you're kind of forgiving people for that. What is this uh, wish that's coming in? Oh, that was a very decisive card. Okay. Oh, the, there you go. <laughs> the Knight of Cups. So if you are single at the moment, that's not going to last. Okay. So try to just, um, you know, kind of surrender to what's going on at the moment. Because all this stuff, all this ick of things that have happened in the past is being released. So you can have this beautiful new love. It could be someone very spiritual because you have... Like they're sitting here next to all this crown chakra stuff. Um, or it could just be a very spiritual connection. And you're going to feel very, very uh, like, you know, like you're one with this person. Um, there's a lot of we energy happening with this person. It's either a, a spiritual connection or you guys are going to go on a spiritual journey together. They're also very loving, this person. Like, they have a very... Yeah, they're just very loving. Is there anything you can tell us about this Knight of Cups? Well, they're showing up as the Emperor. And, you know, if you deal with girls, then just replace that with an Empress, okay? Because someone said that in the comments the other day, but just replace it, because, you know... Spirit's not going to send you the wrong gender. <laughs> they know what you like, right? Uh, so the emperor, you know, if you're dealing with a man, it could be, they could be a father. Um, but very, you know, whatever gender they are, very stable. 
they're often in some kind of like boss energy, um, very mature, very wise, usually very well respected. Um, this person is like awake in terms of spirituality, okay? Um, so I'm going to end the reading there, Cancer, and I'm going to go into the extended reading. So this is not super, super long. So, um, excuse me, in the extended reading, I'm going to go into this empress here and this thing that you're doing because it looks like to me it looks like you're about to create something the thing is whatever this is you're doing you couldn't have created it until you started being more confident because your heart chakra has always been very open <clears throat> but now it's time excuse me <clears throat> now it's time for your solar plexus to open and for you to like kick ass you know what i mean <laughs> that's what that feels like so we're going to go into that See what that is and we will pull some characteristics about this new person coming in um some messages from them and anything else spirit wants to tell you they are a total wish fulfillment though i'll tell you that you're gonna be super super happy so if you want to watch the extended reading it is for channel members only um so there's a link to join below the video or there's a link to join in the description box uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings, uh, love and light. Take care.